Hi, this is Debbie from Simply Special Craft. Today we're going to make some very special cards uh, featuring products by Petaloo and uh, accessories by Wanda Scrap. Let's get started. I'm really excited about this card style. It's a little different than anything I had ever done because there are a lot of layers. But I really like the way the whole package comes together. This card, as you can see, features crocheted lace. It's got cotton flowers. This is They're made of recycled cotton. It's got these pearl flourishes. It's just really pretty. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be working on an A6 card, and that card stock is uh, 5 by 6.5 inches when it's folded. First we'll go ahead and cover my card the way I usually do. Okay, we'll start by covering our card front, just putting some easy tear tape right over the face of my card. Because this card is heavy, I'm actually going to put a piece across the center. I don't usually bother to do that, but again, this card's a little heavier than some. So I'm going to put card tape on each side and then across the middle. I like this easy tear tape because you don't have to pick at it to pull off the paper. The paper is actually wider than the tape itself. Generally making it easier to tear off. There we go. Okay. I'm going to lay my paper right over my card. And then I'm going to trim it up from the back side. That way I never have to worry about measuring and accurately placing a piece of paper on the front. I just put it on there and cut it to fit. <laughs> okay, so I've got my paper on the front. I used lighter weight paper on this one. You certainly could use cardstock, but I used lighter weight paper again because the card itself has a lot of elements and it was a little heavier. I have two accent papers. These come from the uh, Christmas Lace Paper Pack by Hot Off the Press. And I've already pre-cut these to fit my card. The dimensions of these pieces, this one is four and three quarters. And it's the one with the swirls and nice little berries. And then this kind of floral green paper is one and a half by four and three quarters. So we're going to go ahead and put those down on our paper. Okay, I've got my first one on. Now I'm positioning my second piece. And I wanted to show you a little trick I picked up on a video from Hunky Dory the other day. They peeled just the top of their tape while they were positioning things on their paper to hold it secure. They pulled the pieces of tape just out to the side and then peeled them when they got their paper where they wanted it to be and that way they weren't accidentally sticking their paper while they were trying to get things in position and that works really slick. That's a neat little tip I picked up. Okay, once we've done that, now we're going to use the layered labels template by Hot Off the Press. And we could really use any label we wanted, but because my center is, my embellishments are fairly large, I think I'm going to use this one because I think it's the biggest. And I want the decorate, or this is the side I'm actually going to use. This is two sided paper, so I'm going to draw my template right onto my paper. As you do that, you want to run your pen right along the edge of the template to get your cutting line. Fairly quick process. Okay, and then we're going to cut it up. 
Okay, we've got it cut out now, and the next thing I want to do is create a, a mat for this piece that I just cut. So I'm going to use my Easy Tear Tape again. I'm going to tape it down to my green paper and create a little larger label by matting this one. And then I'm going to cut again. Now this time I'm not going to use a pencil guide. I'm just going to cut a little ways around there. I want to create maybe an eighth of an inch border around here. So we'll cut this out next. Okay, you can see my little eighth inch border or thereabouts. I know it will make some of you nervous to say you're just kind of eyeball cutting that out, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be exact. It just adds a little depth to your piece by running a line around it. Next I'm going to tape this onto my card face. And I'm basically going to center this on the card, which will look fun and interesting because it, the card itself is a little, is, my papers are kind of weighted to the left. I'm just going to center it high and top and bottom, left and right. And again, I don't need to really measure it. I just need to kind of see where it looks good and put it down. Okay, now we've formed the base of our card. Next, we're going to use some ribbons. Okay, for attaching my ribbons, I'm going to use red liner tape. It, as you know, is super, super sticky and it will really help to hold that cloth in place. My first piece of crocheted ribbon is this beautiful dark green. And I'm actually going to put two pieces of this ribbon, or excuse me, of this red liner tape onto the green ribbon because it's fairly wide. And I want it to hold in place. So I'm just going to put it over some of the bolder parts of the of the pattern because I don't really need the sticky showing through. So I'm just putting it right over the bolder parts of the pattern. Clip that off. Now I'm going to use a narrower piece of this white crocheted ribbon. All of these items are available on our website. Feel free, however, to you know, go look in your sewing cupboard and pull some ribbon. It would probably look just as nice to have other fabric ribbon if you already have some. And I'll clip that. I'm going to peel my easy tear tape up. Okay, I cut my ribbon just a little longer than my card so I could cut off the ragged edges. I was actually really impressed that this crocheted ribbon doesn't fray as much as I thought it might. It stays pretty nice. Once I put down my green, and you could really use any combination of colors here, but once I put down my white green, then I'm laying my white right over the top of the green. Just kind of create some depth there. Isn't that pretty? That's stuck in my tablecloth. And then I'm just going to clip my ends even with the edge of my card. And that red liner tape will really do a good job of holding that in place. I, I have to confess, I think that peeling the back off the red liner tape is probably the most difficult part of this whole project. If you had nails, it would probably be easy, but since I have short fingernails, it's not easy for me. Okay, now that I've got that in place, the next thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to place my owl. He's already adhesive on the back, and fortunately he peels really easily. So I'm going to peel that off. And I'm going to position my owl. Now he has nice thick foam tape already, so he'll set right over the top of that ribbon nicely. And I just put my owl in right pretty much in the middle of my label. Now that looks pretty, but what really makes this card stunning is the extra embellishments we're going to put on. Now these are by Wanda Scrap. They come in a package with two of these beautiful pearl embellishments. And to get the most, the very most out of these, I'm actually going to cut these apart in pieces so that I can use them where they're going to do the most good for my design. So I'm going to start by cutting, cutting it just like that. And I was a little worried about these, you know, how do you keep them in shape and that kind of thing when you're peeling them up. But they've got these little, they've got little attachments between them to kind of keep the design in place when you go to use it. So that's nice. I'm going to set it just a little bit under my picture to make it look like he's, it's going under the owl. But it really, I don't want to waste my embellishment by having it where it can't be seen. Now I'm going to put this piece on the other side over here. Do the same thing, kind of tuck it under just a tad. Wrap it down and around. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, and I have one more piece left. Just as well use it, so I'm going to run it up here. Okay. Next, I'm going to put down my roses. Now, I usually use tape for almost everything, but to attach these little flowers, I'm actually going to use this Tombow Mono Adhesive. And the reason for that is that these flowers are made of recycled cotton. And they're wonderful, and they're soft, and they're pretty, and I love them. But they don't hold with tape. In fact, some of these actually say in some of the descriptions that I read before I bought them that they're adhesive back, but the adhesive pulls right off when you pull them off the card. So I wouldn't believe that. Just um, be prepared with some good multi-purpose glue and you'll be in good shape. And I'm going to put three blue flowers and one white one right at the base of our owl here. This will turn out just a little different than my last card, which I love. They all have to have just a little bit of individualism to them. But there we go. Isn't that pretty? It's all finished. It only took a few minutes to do, and I just think they're so, so pretty. Let me show you some of the other cards that I completed in this using the same pack. Here's one with a cardinal. I wanted to see if I could do this card a similar design without using the pearl and rhinestone embellishments I used on the rest of them, and I just used the hot off the press coil, and I think that turned out really pretty, with the same petaloo flowers and the same vintage toppers. You'll notice all of these are using that um, Christmas lace paper pack in the back. They all have the crocheted ribbon because I just love the effect of that. Here's the one that has the points at it, and I just added one flower to this. Instead of pearls, this time I used little rhinestone embellishments. Those two are available on our website. Here's my reindeer with poinsettias. Here's the reindeer with white pearls and poinsettias. Now this was the inspiration piece for these cards. 
and this was actually created by the designers at Hot Off the Press. I used their design to create this one and then went from there. Now you'll notice in some cases I've used glitter paper behind my mat and that creates a nice effect too because it kind of picks up the glitter in the in the toppers. Here's another poinsettia piece. Some more of those little petal of flowers. You'll notice that I have use the red, white, and green crocheted ribbon. The topper package comes with a total of eight pieces. And finally this one, I use these brown pearl and rhinestone embellishments. And they're so elegant and so pretty. It really carried through nicely with the browns from behind the cardinal and the centers of the flowers. So that's it for today. This was the Petaloo greeting cards with the Wanta Scrap embellishments. All these supplies are available on our website, www.simplyspecialcrafts.com, and we'll see you next time.